I'm going for Spark. The next part is a resilient distributed data sets. So this, this is kind of data sets Spark use. So let's go with. You. So in this lecture, I'm going to cover about RDD and then how to create RDD from local collection. Then next part will be creating RDD from data source and then creating RDD from the data frames and data. So what is the RDD? So let's uh, divide RDD. So RDD is an abstraction in Spark, is a resilient distributed data sets. It is an read only, you cannot change. So it's immutable collection of objects or records, partition across the cluster that can be operated on parallel processing. So a partition can be reconstructed if the hosting and experience a failure of RDD. RDD are lower level APIs. So and the data frames and data sets uh, compile to the RDD. So uh, internally data frames and data sets, they compile with the RDD. The, the constitutes records of objects with RDD are Java, Python, and Scala objects. So you can constitute RDD with any of these language. Anything can be stored in any format of this object. Now, RDD are low level API. So the Spark uh, author, uh, discuss working directly with them unless we intend to exercise the fine grain control in using using rdd one uh, sacrifice the optimization and pre-built functionality that comes with the use of a structured api such as data frames and data sets for example data is comp compressed and stored in the optimized binary format in that case a structured api which has them mutually achieved when working with rdds so the next part is, uh, uh, let's go in the deeper about uh, name of RDD. So first term is resilient means, uh, an RDD is fault tolerant, is able to recompute missing or damaged partition due to the node failure. This is self-healing, self is made possible using an RDD lineage graph that will cover in the depth in the later my coming lecture. Uh, essentially, an RDD remembers how it uh, reach into current states and can be tracked back the step got it's the current state and recompute so resilient means uh, it's a fault tolerant basically so if any failure will happen rdd can reconstruct then distributed is the fundamental property of the big data so data making rdd is spread across the various cluster commodity hardware so it's a distributed and data sets is uh, uh, represent the data records work with the external data can be Loaded variety of source such as JSON file, CSV file, tax file, database file, JDBC files. So this is the uh, things, and the Spark already can be cached and uh, manually partitioned. The caching is useful as allow the refit use of RDD. Manually partition help correctly balance partition. Okay, so creating RDD from local. The simplest way to create RDD is from the existing collection using uh, use the parallelized method. So this method exposed by the Spark context. This method uh, accept collection and copies of element from distributed data sets can be operated in parallel. Below is the example. So if the example I have given here, here, so value done equal to list, Tesla, Ford, and GM. So this is a just variable. And then the next part, we have SE context is SE, the, the Spark connection, then parallelize.run. So here, this will create RDD node. In this part, we can also uh, pass the number of, uh, you know, the parallelism. So this is, can be done. So this is how local collection. So creating RDD from data source. So creating RDD from data source is a simple. We can also use from data source such as tax file. However, the better to read data from source as a data frame, data sets, but we will cover in the later. So this is, uh, I mean, we can directly read as a data frames, but this is, uh, the one way the uh, se.txt file then it will read from text file and data.count it will run the uh, count or number of counts of data so this is a uh, action the previous section uh, we learned about the uh, transformation and action so the data.count is action similarly we uh, each we can also use the uh, whole text file and uh, all those things and the next part is uh, creating from data, from data frame and data sets. Creating data frame is spark.range, so and 2D app is it will create a data frames. 
and then the our data frame dot rdd it will creating rdd from data frame so there are two methods so creating from rdd to df and df to rdd so these these are method we are going to learn in coming lecture and so now the next part is uh, creating rdd from data so this one we are going to few property of rdd and so rdd is uh, uh, internally each rdd has a list of partition and the uh, function for computing each splits and list of dependency of each rdd which is called DAC, operational uh, partitioner key value RDD, uh, operational list of predefined location which is computer split. What happen in the compute function such as filter aggregation join uh, to the Spark prevent from applying and optimization. Additionally, the compute function produce the iteration for our data that gave the store RDD. Case of Python RDD, Spark can't be determined type of data and uh, treat as a generic Python object. This is a limitation has given way to structure API uh, spark like data frames and data set. Finally, RDD keep the tracks of its lineage. RDD lineage also known as the RDD operator or graphs or a direct cyclic graph, which is very important parts. So that's all from my side. Uh, please watch and subscribe my lecture. Next lecture we are going for a various example using do some hands on using the Scala and Python, whichever language you prefer. So I will go for using Scala. Thank you for watching.